Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the Subspace Emissary. I'm Pwnshop135. In the last episode, we did the same thing that we did the episode before that, and the episode before that, and in this episode, and that's continue to plug through the subspace, or the Great Maze, sorry. Alright, so... We're back in the mine safe room, or save room, and we're gonna go notch that last air, that last room, a um, couple of screens over. So what we want to do is we want to go down. And we want to go over this way. Bowser's gonna fire resistant. Screen's not moving. Thank you. Yeah, I'm host. Like, this boss is gonna. No, this fighter is just gonna take me out. What do you know? It's Bowser. Oh wow, alright. No problemo. Alright, next thing's gonna take me out though. Okay, that leads us back here. Um, I'll I'll meet you guys at the uh, the ruin uh, save room. Okay, just real quick. I mean <laughs> look at that damage. <laughs> uh, that's just that's just making it through that area with all that fire. Uh, but seriously, I just wanted to document that. Like, Bowser is a trooper. Oh, man. All right. Gonna, again, I'm going to meet you guys at that other safe room. Okay, here we are back at the ruins uh, save room. We have four, oh, yeah, four directions we want to go. Up to the right, up to left, center left, and down left. Let's start up into the right. Trying to avoid the bomb, uh, the bomb. I don't care about you guys. All right. No, you... You dumb fox. I said... Down B. Come on. 
Alright. Leads us to the mountain. I was trying to avoid getting shot. this lead us? Well, obviously a showdown with the ice climbers. Oh, thank you, Mr. Saturn, for stopping that kick. Trying to catch that Deku nut, but accidentally punched it. Last. All right. Got one of the ice climbers to take care of, and the other. All right. Okay, over this way. Uh, let's go back and climb the mountain. Alright, Lucario time. That was easy. Alright, and here we are back at the very, very beginning. Alright, since we made a round trip... Uh, it will show us how many enemies we have left. <clears throat> we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So, yeah. Okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and get our crew back together. We are so close to being done with uh, Subspace Maze. Let's go ahead and hit the save button. Alright, 
we're gonna go back to cold cult or cuckoo mountain whatever mountain is called icicle mountain whatever we're gonna go back to the mountain we're gonna go back that down that room that we faced the ice climber in. Okay, here, here we are at a mini save room. Sweet Christmas. But uh, we don't need it right now. We're going to go through this door. need a key. Speak of the devil. about dealing with metal primus. They don't flinch. I say we're gonna fight Ike. Elmar. That was my first guess. I just went with my second guess. Because he had the Franklin badge on. Cannon is going to drag us all the way back here. Oh, 
Alright, now that we got the key, we can go ahead and unlock that door. And face Ike. Yes. Nope, Ganon. Oof! Well, he kind of screwed himself, too, so... Okay. Leads us back in full circle. All right. All right. So, we have Peach, Ike, Luigi, Zelda, Pokemon Trainer, and Rayquaza. That's all we have left to, to beat before we can open that door. All right, now we gotta survive. Get back to the save room. This is it, all right. All right. So let's go ahead and save just in case something screwy happens. this time. Ike. Should have guessed. Okay, that was a... That was a million... Uh, that was a smart play right there. He just slightly backed up before the Falcon Punch made contact. Sorry, Ike. Had to do it. Still my boy and all. Alright. So now... We have to go back to the mountain. I, actually, no, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to go back to the mountain. healed up first. I think if I think the uh, the remaining enemies show up on your map, um, if you've made a full circle or if you've beaten enough. Oh come on! I, I didn't even have that much damage racked up. That's. Come 
time. Okay, finally. Cripes. Alright. Okay, since we're on the home stretch, we're going to make this episode go as long as we need to. Alright. Go down here, back to the ruins. Okay, this time we're going to go uh, down. Okay, that's as far down as we can go. Alright, we can either go left or we can go right. Let's go right first. Yeah, I hit that smart bomb on purpose, hopefully to deal enough damage to Roto Turret, or at least get him to leave me alone. Alright, Zelda Sheik. <sighs> only she didn't counter that. Okay. Easy squeezy lemon peasy. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm screwed. So, here we go. I would say it's Peach, so I can highly underestimate her, but this is a computer that beat me with Olimar, so I'm not. But it is poetic to have Bowser beat Peach. Alright, now we just got to make the long trek back. I don't want to even fight that thing. These stupid... These stupid jicks keep... Wow, I, I don't know how they're pronounced, but if that's the way it's pronounced, it feels like I'm saying a slur. But these stupid electric balls keep kicking me backwards. Like that! Now I'm going to get a game over before I can even get to a uh, restroom, or a rest area. Well, 
Well, goes Bowser. Alright, uh, I'm just going to cut away to a rest area. All right, here we are again at the split path. We're going to go left this time. Kind of want that trophy. This is going to be Pokemon Trainer, right? Yep. Finally. We are back at the safe area. Gonna cut away to the safe room once again. All right, uh, we're gonna go up. up that way so we're gonna have to go this way all 
Alright, Wario. If it wasn't for those stupid ghosts. Get out of here, you fat lard. All right. We'll go left this time. Oh. <sighs> okay, they're just going to keep uh, keep coming. All right, we're going to go up here. Or Rayquaza and somebody else. I forget who that last person is, but yeah, we got Rayquaza. Probably gonna game over on Rayquaza. My only help, Bowser. You are my only hope. All right, full circle once again. And we've only got one more room to take out. Let's go ahead and polish that room off. Stop it! Why are these enemies so annoying today? Come on, man!
Who is it? Who's the last one? Luigi. How fitting that's Luigi. How fitting that Luigi is the final enemy we have to face. How fitting. Alright. Got all the enemies taken care of. Only one left only one thing left to do. Or one place rather to go, rather. To a safe room, because oh. Alright, I think I got my path to, uh... Okay, yeah. Okay. There we go. Everybody's beaten. All that's left is to go through the final door. We're going to save. And we're going to go back to the map real quick. Yep, we have all four areas of the Great Maze unlocked. Once you've unlocked all three, or the other three major restrooms, or rest areas, you can jump in to the maze at any point from those, you know, locations. So, uh, that being said, next time on Super Smash Brothers Brawl uh, Space Emissary, we bring the fight's depth to Taboo, and we end this. Now, on to the very last fighter of the day, for now. Menace to the Mushroom Kingdom returns. It's Bowser. Bowser's neutral special is Fire Breath. Does 2% damage near, 1% far, and if you hold it long enough, it will start to lose. It will start to lose range. Until ultimately, it just becomes a little spark. Pretty decent for racking up damage, as you can see there, but it will push the enemy back and it will decrease in power, much like Charizard's Flamethrower. His side special is Flying Slam. It does 18% damage for the Slam and the 13% damage with the Slash if it doesn't connect. But there is one strategy that makes the Flying Slam pretty effective, and I would highly recommend it, using it if you, well, if you're about, if the match is about to be over. Bowser Psy. Just use your Flying Slam. And since the opponent, uh, since Bowser will land last, it will count as the enemy going down before you do pretty nice strategy I use a lot against the computer it's pretty pretty dirty his up special is whirling fortress does 11% damage on the ground with hit number one 5% damage with ground hit number two clean 3% damage with ground ground hit number two late 10% damage with air hit number one 3% damage with air hits 2 through 6, and 2% air hits with 7 through 11. It's a pretty good um, recovery for Bowser, not to mention it's really good for moving around the terrain when you're on the ground. Uh, 
Um, yeah, it eats through shields pretty pretty good. Uh, his down special is Bowser Bomb. Oh boy, that was almost ugly. Um, yeah, there we go. Alright. Anyway, Bowser Bomb. 4% damage with the hop if you're standing on the ground. Actually, hang on. Yeah, 4% damage with the hop, 20% damage with the drop, and 11% damage with landing. This is pretty easily his strongest move, aside from uh, Bowser Slam, which, you know, both attacks you can get uh, some good collateral damage. And since Bowser is a... Bowser can take a licking, which means if he gets knocked high enough into the air, you can come down with a Bowser bomb. Basically capitalize on all that uh, height gain. Bowser's final smash is a nice callback to Super Smash Bros. Melee with Giga Bowser. Bowser transforms, he gets super armor, he's not invincible, and his attacks take on different properties such as darkness, uh, darkness, electricity, and ice. So, um, his transformation lasts for 11 seconds. It's it's a transformation special. What do you expect? Um, Bowser's main playstyle is he's one of the faster heavyweights, getting a huge speed a speed increase from melee. But otherwise, he just throws around with the best of them. He, he is comparable to DDD in uh, a multi-tool player. Um, main strategy is just go in there and cause as much damage. Bowser can take a licking. He doesn't become airborne until about 100 damage. Even then, he can hang on up to 200%. So he's a very tanky heavyweight. And he can gr gain ground. He's one of my mains for a reason. He's just an absolute nightmare to deal with.